Compartment syndrome animation. Compartment syndrome is a condition in which increased pressure within a closed space compromises the circulation to the tissues contained within that space. The condition of compartment syndrome can affect any muscle compartment within the body. However, it most commonly affects the lower leg. Almost any injury can cause compartment syndrome, including injury resulting from vigorous exercises. However, the most common cause of compartment syndrome is due to fracture and soft tissue injuries. In this example, the tibia has suffered an oblique fracture due to traumatic force. Edema and hemorrhage causes fluid accumulation which elevates the compartment pressure, and this causes occluding of the blood vessels and compression on the nerves. With clinical suspicion of compartment syndrome, the compartment pressure is measured. An absolute pressure of 30 mm mercury or higher, or within 30 mm mercury of the diastolic blood pressure is considered to be diagnostic of acute compartment syndrome. Without urgent decompression, tissue ischemia, necrosis, and functional impairment will occur. Anatomy is crucial in the treatment of compartment syndrome. There are four compartments in the leg, the anterior compartment, the lateral compartment, the superficial posterior compartment, and the deep posterior compartment. Fasciotomy is the treatment of choice for compartment syndrome. Complete decompression of the lower leg is accomplished through double incision and four compartment fasciotomy. The first incision is placed halfway between the femoral shaft and the tibial crest. The fascia, anterior and posterior to the septum, is open transversely. The anterior compartment is released first, followed by release of the lateral compartment. Care should be taken not to injure the superficial perineal nerve located within the lateral compartment. The second incision is made medial to the previous incision, 2 cm posterior to the posterior tibial margin. Care should be taken not to injure the saphenous nerve and vein. The fascia anterior and posterior to the septum is opened transversely. The superficial posterior compartment is released first, followed by release of the deep posterior compartment. The double incision and the four compartment fasciotomy is now complete. Now let's talk about chronic exertional compartment syndrome. Chronic exertional compartment syndrome is an exercise-induced condition that is different from acute compartment syndrome. In patients with chronic exertional compartment syndrome, the resting compartment pressure is usually higher than 15 mm mercury. The compartment pressure rises sharply after the initiation of exercise, usually causing the patient pain within 20 minutes. Burning, cramping, or aching pain and tightness develops, leading to the cessation of the activity. Compartment pressure that remains over 30 mm mercury one minute after the end of exercise 
or pressure that remains over 20 millimeter mercury for longer than five minutes after the end of exercise is considered diagnostic of chronic exertional compartment syndrome. While the initial treatment can be conservative, a fasciotomy is probably the only proven successful treatment. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.